Welcome, Modern Day Mystics, fellow True Seekers, James and Justin, back again with another reaction video. In this one, we are going to take a look at the Ami YouTube channel and their nine-year-old video called How to Start Your Own Religion. Mm, Epic Gadzooks. <laughs> start yeah. Your Own Religion. Fascinating. Well, it, it's, it's, I haven't seen this, but it springs to mind, like, maybe this might help you understand your own religion. Yeah. Instead of looking at it with like a negative like tone, try to like let it open your mind. Maybe it will like unlock something in there that uh, you know maybe yeah. you didn't see before. Yeah, or so, just identify like what a, a cult a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm in a cult. <laughs> yeah, um, but anyway, with all that said, let's dive on in. Christ, Muhammad, L. Ron Hubbard, all of them started their own religion. They attracted millions of followers and became powerful beyond belief. So why can't you? This is Epic How To. Epic How To. Good to start your own religion, you need to create a belief system. If you can fill in the blanks of the following sentences, you should have the basic tenets of your religion. The best way to live your life is blank. When you die, you go to blank. The one true vessel of God is, insert religious figure here. Those are some pretty big blanks to fill. You probably don't have a definite answer, and let's be honest, no one does. So why not have your religion piggyback off of an existing religious faith? Almost all of the successful religious movements from the last few hundred years have been offshoots of existing religions. And of all those new religious movements, the most have sprung forth from Christianity. Take Mormonism, which is pretty much just Christianity, but with Joseph Smith at the helm. Or the Christian scientists, who add the anti-medicine writings of founder Mary Baker Eddy to basic Christian tenets at no extra cost. Or the Westboro Baptist Church, which was Fred Phelps' way of answering the question, can Christianity be a little more hateful? Now, with Christianity as your foundation, the sky's the limit for your religion. Every religion has a symbol to identify themselves, like the Christian cross or the star and crescent of Islam. And since you can't compete with their thousands of years of brand recognition, why not modify a pre-existing popular symbol? Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use the logos of Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, or any other instantly recognizable you symbols could. without being sued. Like However, your own way. you can use the recycling logo. It's public domain and royalty free, and it's one of the top 10 most well-known logos in the world. Now that you have your religion, you need to find your followers. 71% of Americans who embrace new religions do so between 18 and 24 years of age, so you should appeal to the youth demographic. Studies show that social media is the biggest single influencer in the lives of millennials, so you should base your religion on that. Studies also show that people enduring high levels of stress are the most susceptible to the promises of happiness and fulfillment that religion can provide. Make sure your religion provides salvation for the tired and the overworked. Your social media themed Christianity offshoot religion will have stressed out millennials ready to follow you to the ends of the earth. But where can you find these young, poor, unfortunate souls? Why, the City of Angels, Los Angeles. It has the highest concentration of cults and religions in the country. Every day, young people move there with big dreams and an even bigger sense of desperation. They're often easy prey for belief systems that promise happiness and spiritual fulfillment, like yours. You've established your base. Now you need to go national. Targeting a bigger religion will bring your religion a lot of free publicity. Take the American Atheists. In 2013, the group made major headlines by putting up billboards in Times Square, encouraging people to give up the myth of Christ. All the attention led to a huge increase in interest in atheism, with Google searches for the term atheism more than doubling during the incident. Can't afford a Times Square billboard? Put up a monument to your religion on city property. That's what Satanists did in Oklahoma. Will it ruffle some feathers and get taken down? Of course, but the publicity is priceless. A house of worship seems essential to any religion, but how can you compete with the history, majesty, and grandeur of those hundreds of years old cathedrals? Good news, you don't have to. Hundreds of churches operate solely online. The Universal Life Church has grown steadily on the web for decades. Your flock of millennials spends most of their time online anyway. Now, let's get to the best part of having your own religion, the tax benefits. Filing for the 501c3 lets you gain tax-exempt status, meaning your religion doesn't have to pay taxes. Sweet! 
That's right, not a single cent. Any money donated to your religion is yours to keep and use as you wish. The only catch is that your religion's income can't go directly to a private individual and that it can't be used to influence legislation. <laughs> yeah, right. So don't funnel your money to your mom, don't talk about politics, and you're all set. Conclusion. Look at you. You're now the leader of the profitable Christian social media-ists. Who says there's no more miracles in the world? Hey guys, you can turn more of your wildest dreams into an epic reality with Epic How To. Let us know in the comments what you guys want us to tackle next, and as always, thanks for watching. It was a good video. I felt maybe a little too slanted toward towards Christians, because it could have gone any way. It could have, there were... Well, yeah. he was basing some of it on data, like, you know, this is the highest number of, you yeah, know, according to some true. studies. There I don't are, know, like, I'm gazillion denominations of Christianity. Right. There are, are, are lots there. I thought it was interesting that when they when he was talking about what types of people tend to join a cult, it talked about, like, people that are stressed out and have all these issues. Yeah. And without saying anything against Christianity, I'm not saying it against it. You know, I think there's a lot of good about Christianity and Jesus and everything like that. But you think about even what Jesus said. He's like, I didn't come to save your, like, I didn't come for the Pharisees and everything. I came yeah, yeah. for the, the broken. I came for the sinners. Yeah. He said something along those lines, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, which kind of ties into that idea. It's like, well, right. You know, who's going to be more yielding to your new ideology? Yeah. Somebody who's got it together and certain or somebody that's uncertain you know like a you know lost fawn yeah in the, in the forest you go find them and collect them up make them into a devotee yeah uh it was kind of like a practice almost in like if you were going to be deconstructing your belief these are some of the things that you might look at um at least these were some of the things that i kind of like you know triggered me you know back when i was kind of like doing some deconstruction uh, it's interesting that a lot of these beliefs they get solidified in in when you're young, yeah, right. It, like, well, that's also the like the what how the military works too. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. them when they're young and stupid and full of vinegar and like shove a gun in their hand and shove them off to war. Yeah, you know, I assume the powers that be do hate cults, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's like a lot of documentaries about cults on Netflix, right? Yeah, and yeah. a lot of times it looks like fun. In the beginning stages, before everything gets ugly, yeah. when they're just a bunch of young, healthy people working together, breaking yeah. free from, like, <laughs> the shackles of the yeah. meta yeah. society. And you don't really hear the stories about the cults that did all right and the ones that are, like, okay, that are still, like, yeah, because there are probably some cults out there that would be considered cults that, you know, they're functional. They well, always they probably got a little some. Everyone's got their kinks and their weird little right. things. Stories but where things work. I would doubt that they would rise because it's so collectively accepted that the house wins in the end. That yeah, daddy yeah. wins. You know, even in the office, the arc where Michael goes off and starts his own company, it like doesn't. It's cool and everything, but he goes back to the main one again. Yeah, you know, yeah follow yeah. fall in line to the system. People want to. Be, sort of believe in their government like you yeah. know I, that's you know if crap hits the fan you can always rely on the tried true and collective way of doing it, it takes a lot to be an individualist man yeah well uh, yeah and if you've uh you know solidified a belief system at a young age and you've built all that security around there mm. it's gonna take something drastic to rattle that cage because really da drastic because like you hear i've heard a, uh, i can't tell you how many stories i've heard in my life of people who have left their faith and then returned, you oh, know, yeah. and dabbled in like wild things yeah. and then come back and return. Come home to home daddy. Back. Come home you, to daddy religion. Because it's, it's scary. And like, yeah. you know, what are you going to do? You've got, you know, you, holidays are coming up. We are social creatures. And when you've got a bunch of people believing the same thing, when you do return like the prodigal son, they're going to yeah. be like, see, it's, this is yeah. better. You're, now you're on the right track. Yeah, Pat yeah. on the yeah. back and you're going to be like, yeah, this feels right. Yes. It's a lot yeah. to be stand apart from the herd. Oh, you yeah. You know, and sometimes when you do that, behold, a cult just forms behind you. You're yeah, like, yeah. I ain't even trying to start a cult. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, uh, and not to mention, there's probably also like pressure you to even like leave. I know there's some stringent face out there. It's like, if you leave, don't ever come back. Like, that's horrifying. Can you imagine being faced with that decision? You know? I, yeah, but you know what? I could have used some of the cults I was involved with along the way to say something like that. Instead of being full of crap and like, you know, sweeten the deal when you first get there. And then week two, you're scrubbing the toilets. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't really in any cults. Take yeah, it easy, yeah, everybody. Yeah. But I'm saying some of the things I've been affiliated with, you know, win people over with honey, but it's just a facade. The yeah, reality yeah. is you got a number, baby. Yeah. Fall in line. 
once you're there, yeah. find, we'll find a job for you. We'll find a job for you to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, and yeah. if you're not scared, you can come over here to the Stay Spiritual Team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Join us. Yeah. Um, Nothing required other yeah. than... <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully you Attention. liked our, our reaction video here. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share this with a friend, and everyone, until next time, stay, stay spiritual. spiritual.